Psalm 92 verse 15, to declare that the Lord is upright, he is my rock, and there's no unrighteousness in him. The person who is planted in the house of the Lord becomes fruitful, and because they are fruitful, they have a testimony. A testimony is an expression of something that has happened to you, something you can speak about, something you can give evidence for. That means that when God makes us fruitful, we don't just become fruitful in theory, we become fruitful in reality, in practice. And our fruitfulness can be evidenced. It can be tended in evidence. People would see that God has indeed made us fruitful. So those who are planted in the Lord show forth their fruit. They manifest what God has done in their lives. And they make their boast in the Lord. They, they, they really speak well of God because of what God has done for them. And the psalmist says that our testimony would be that the Lord is our rock and that there is no unrighteousness in him. Testifying that God is our rock is to say that he is the source of our stability. We are planted in him. He's the one who keeps us together. As we come into a new year, and that, that's what we want to settle in our hearts, that God is our rock. May he strengthen you when the winds blow. May he be your rock and may he hold you firm in him without shaking. And the Lord has no unrighteousness in him. In other words, God will not do you evil. God will do you good. God will do you right. And he'll treat you well. And when you trust him, he will honor his name in your life. Those who trust in the Lord and those who are planted in the Lord will declare that the Lord is upright. That the Lord is our rock and the Lord is our righteousness. I pray for you and speak the blessing of the Lord into your life. Blessing not only for today, but for the rest of the year. That the Lord will give you a testimony. That there will be an evidence of fruitfulness in your life. That there will be something to show at the end of the year. By the time you get to the end of the year, you should be able to hold in your hand something that God has done and say, look what the Lord has done. Set your heart on the Lord, be planted in him, be planted by the waters, allow his word to refresh you, allow his word to renew you, allow the Holy Spirit to strengthen you, and allow yourself to be planted in the house of the Lord. Get deeply committed to the Lord. Get committed to the work of the church. Be part of the church. Don't just uh, take your Christian life haphazardly. One day you are in church, next time you are not there. One time you are reading your Bible, next time you are not reading it. That's not planting. If you plant a seed and uproot it and plant it and uproot it and plant it and uproot it, it never settles and it never bears fruit. So be stable in your Christian life. Be committed to the Lord. Be committed to the church. Be committed to other believers and just Watch what God will do for you. He'll give you a testimony that will cost the world to declare that the Lord is a good God. He's a rock, he's upright, and there's no unrighteousness in him. Let's share a word of prayer together. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you are my rock and my helper. Let my life be a testimony of your greatness in all that I do. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.